Hello and welcome to another set of turns of Dominions 5 with the Boss God. We are playing today as Pangea in our Disciples game. We are on turn 44. And as has become customary for these episodes, we are almost done killing Team Blood. Let's see if today's the day. All right, Tarspex with a miss, Dark Knowledge with a miss, uh, some transformations. Uh, we had one failure, which is unfortunate. A gnome lore with a miss. Uh, we did find a canyon of wild winds, but probably not in our territory. Uh, we were mostly out scouting our teammates. 34 blood slaves is not very good. We're way behind on our blood economy. Uh, the lightless lanterns coming in clutch. <laughs> we're starting to get attacked by horrors. Um, we've got a battle here against a warrior sorceress and her bodyguard. So we've got bugs. We've got two sets of bugs. And they do not have any buddies. Um, so I think that the bugs should go ahead and chop through here. Uh, some good tries, but we are successful. Uh, we stole a soothsayer. Go us. All right, let's see some battles. Let's see if anything's relevant here. Uh, so Tiss um, mine hunted out a uh, Anaki and took the province back. So great work by Satis. So uh, we get attacked, uh, but this time the one Batab is not successful, and our uh, our Minotaur takes him down. Um, Ubar has a Sea King, which is kind of neat. I'm not entirely sure. Coral Blade, Black Steel Kite Shield, and a Lion Pelt. So, decent protection and defense. Certainly enough to kill small stuff. Uh, he's a gem generator, too. So, getting our... It's our own little water uh, water global. And what is he doing? Quicken Self. And summon Water Elementals. Okay. Uh, so, he is using up his, his gems... But it looks like it was not, uh, probably not necessary. Uh, he is just fine. And takes his province, but he'll, he'll make more gems, so no problems there. And that does kill off another Zabalbin mage. Uh, and if, oh, here we go. This is a throne. Uh, and in particular, it's the throne with the Anuki of the Morning Star and the Umu Apkalu. Who has a gossamer cloth, a cornucopia, and she has a dwarven hammer. And then they each have a huge number of gems. Um, there's also some some people here are horror marked. So that's interesting. A lot of horror marks. Okay. And then obviously lots and lots of spring hawks. So we're gonna find, I'm sure, lots of yeah. Um uh, resistance to shock. So, yeah, Copper Plate, Ring of Regen, Burning Pearl, Horror Helmet, Divine Shield, and a Stinger. And he's cast Iron Skin. This is Mr. Jenkins. Go ahead and see what he does. He's probably only off, you know, a spell or two. Iron Skin is in some ways an interesting choice, as it makes you less shock resistant. But he does have 30 right now. Um, 10 from the Copper Plate. Not sure... Where the rest is... I, maybe he just has it naturally. It's certainly possible. I don't know the chassis super well. Um, but Iron's are sort of going the wrong way there. But very useful overall. And then the birds uh, shock themselves. Get hit by the, the vine shield. So this is the kind of thug... Um, he isn't, you know, looking to kill... He is looking to kill everything here. <coughs> you could sometimes have, uh, like, cheese thugs on this throne, like what I attempted to do with my milk cart, which failed in the Baratos game, where you're just trying to time it out and then wait for everybody to retreat, and then you're just the only one left standing. But he's got, with his fire shield um, and his copper plate, etc., he will he will be trying to chop through everybody, I believe. So, air elemental coming out. Uh, that is dangerous. He's only size 5, so a size 6 air elemental can push him around. Uh, into bad positions, potentially. Uh, bugs. 
And the elementals may or may not be able to get through easily. Currently kind of blocked by these birds. Yeah, air elementals just sort of messing around on the sides. Now the archers are what killed us in um, the Baratos game, killed our Melkart. But he has a lot more protection. And he's invisible, etc. He just cast Firestorm. Well, that's neat. That's going to kill people real fast. Uh, he is taking some chip, though. Uh, he's healing it up. He's back at full, but I think we definitely saw him take a little bit of chip there. Yeah. Got whacked. But the Ring of Regen should help a lot. And then hopefully he can last long enough for this Firestorm to do its good work. Fast forward. Because mostly we'll either see him die or he won't. Uh, he's getting pushed around now a little bit. Um, is he? F yeah, he's totally fatigued out, and he has his morale is is to zero. But because he's fatigued, he's not going anywhere. Uh, he's just about finished everybody off here. Yeah, fatigued out. Currently, it seems like everyone is just fatigued. Some people are on fire though, and he is not. <laughs> Okay, so he routed. So we have another instance of a variance in the replay. Uh, I don't know. This is what happened. Okay. Yeah, Ubar attacked. It was defeated. Um, but, you know, he, I believe, retreated successfully. And there's now four units left. So he, he succeeded in his strategic objective, even though he did lose uh, that combat. Uh, we go ahead and manage to knock the Ivy Kings off of our capital. Uh, another uh, Anaki comes in and kills some of our stuff. Uh, we have a decent fight here in a cave, so that's bad for us. Uh, but we've got like 30 centaur up against hordes of skeletons. Basically. Some beast bats. And I think we're going to have enough, you know, centaur here that they are not going to be able to keep up. We have a priest to help with the skeletons as well. But you can see it's not, you know, there were, we were at some, okay, we weren't really, but it felt like we were at some risk. Um, but now we've made it to the back lines and they are all dead. Uh, that did cost us 11 centaur. Oh, we had, sorry, we had 40 centaur. Uh, we picked up a sanguine dowsing rod. It's nice. Uh, we're... Just getting close to... I think maybe we already looked at that one. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, we saw that. Oh, no. I guess we got, we got Batab attacked in a couple of different provinces. Probably checking for PD. Uh, Ubar taking out his own Ivy Kings. Here we have us attacking Sarmatia in their fort. But nobody home. We lose some province income. Get some province income. Uh, the forces of Ubar defeat a corpse candle. Yeah, more province ink. The, the, you know, guy is busy messing up all of our stuff. Some gems. And more gems. That's nice. And then, um, Satis takes out some independence attacking what is now our, um, province. And then we also were able to defeat some more independence attacking us. A lot of independence coming out and trying to mess with us. Uh, Sorrow... Is not dead? What does Sorrow have left? Oh, just this one. Sorrow down to one remaining province. And Zabalba has one as well. Uh, we can also see that Marverni has started to reassert themselves a little bit. They were they had been pushed back pretty far, but now they've retaken this retaken this throne. Uh, it doesn't matter too much to us at the moment, though. We are just going to go ahead and finish. I mean, we're done with our mop-up. Um, we got a soothsayer somewhere. Not sure where he's been rushed off to, but... In any event, we are sending uh, all of our assassins to go, and I think the idea was to try and steal as many Vanheim commanders or commanders from this throne as we could. Uh, so that's where they're running off to. Um, 
I probably should have done more to consider if they would have been better served doing preaching throughout here. But I actually, as it stands, I don't think that preaching in these tiles, most of these, would help our overall total income at this moment. Just because for us, we care about the temperature scale and we want it to be as close to neutral as possible. You know, this one's already got, it's got two order, it's got two productivity, it's got three growth. That's better than uh, our home scales um, or our own income, certainly. Now, it does. they do not all have uh, three luck. And there's, you know, this one's got misfortune. There's some variance in here, of course, uh, because they don't have our scales, or, or at least not our full scales. So we definitely do want to get our scales around here, and, and certainly to the south. Um, this has got the garbage absolutely garbage scales. And this is the one that really matters because um, it has, you know, 12,000. This has actually got 10. That's that's not bad. Um, but yeah, so we do need to get our Dominion out, but it's not currently quite as bad as it uh, it might look. But that's okay. Uh, this guy got messed up. Uh, we got a, a tiger. Um, we're currently, I, I think we're over hunting tall here maybe we've got five guys on it that's i don't know we need to it's i'm not uh i wasn't sure how to do a great job of blood hunting as ea pan just because they're so expensive um as compared to you know obviously like my veritas game where you're just hunting with whatever you know the easy little stuff um but this guy should i think we need to set up another I think I was too afraid of the Zabalbin raids, which just aren't that relevant in some ways. Um, there is the Anaki, but if we put enough enough blood hunters out with chaff, I think they would beat these. So I think I was staying at home though when I should have been getting ready to to go out and attack. But you know, sort of is what it is. Um, our specs, we're making a lifelong protection to help our assassins out. Probably should have been doing that a lot earlier. Dark knowledge. Okay. We should also, we probably should be taking this goofball and running him down here to do blood sacrificing. That would have been a much better use of his time than sitting here preaching in what is a completely... Uh, preached up province or maybe not completely preached up but a mostly preached up province <clears throat> so kind of a there's a lot of, of little mistakes and little uh little efficiencies that we could be trying to do more to to glean but we'll go ahead and oh we got uh this is the golden throne so once we claim that or really when we have statistics claimed for us 200 extra gold per turn and then this mage is obviously great we don't have really any of these cross paths uh, we don't have any fire we don't have any astral um we have, we have earth and we have like two air mages so these are going to be pretty nice for our diversity um and our ability to do stuff now in some way you know in some ways there's they're less valuable than they'd be in non-disciples games just because a lot of you know item foraging can be done by our teammates who have the cross paths uh, and these guys are old and human so when it comes to really late game fights they can die uh, but they can still be used to get us the better casters that are a little more survivable and summon those up for us so uh, definitely a nice pickup but let's go ahead and jump. We'll do 45 as well. Mozambique, 45. All right, we got 500 gold from Satis and another lantern from Ubar. Uh, helpful, we've got a Druid's Grave. Yeah, I don't, this is, uh, it feels like a really low number to find. We essentially have, they've all got um, uh, dowsing rods. So we have five blood, you know, blood twos with dowsing rods, so blood threes. And they're only coming up with 19. Um, blood subs, which it, it, I don't know, it feels like a low roll. Um, but I don't know, maybe maybe that's, maybe I just have my, 
my back's wrong on how that should work. Ah, yes, we have decided to attack Vanheim. <laughs> uh, and in fact, they were willing to, they had sort of given up. Um, they'd, you know, gone after their their enemy as best they could. They'd done the damage they could. And we were like, all right, well, it's time to, uh, it's time to eat you now. See if there's anything. I think we're mostly just hitting province defense. Um, we can't, uh, we can't see it, but there's also a quite a lot of assassinations being done. I believe uh, Zavalba kills our province defense, and then the Susar managed to get away. Um, two little guys. I think probably just like some fire elementals. This is just oh, they don't even need. I don't think there's any commanders left here. Or at least there's... That one doesn't have a commander. Oh, this guy's mindless, so... Yeah, these are both mindless. Um, just to finish off that throne, and we'll take a look at that throne in just a second once we finish with the battles. Uh, this is the last province of Saramatia. And there's nobody home. This is... Uh, this is this is goodbye, and indeed we can see that Sarmatia has been permanently vanquished. Now, I, if we had to bet on the order in which Team Blood was going to die, I would not have put you know after the beginning of the war, I would not have put Zabalba at the end. They're just <clears throat> the difficulty we've had in pinning them down is pretty hilarious. Uh, although they are down to a single raiding party left, so we're getting there. And then a Sultan taking out some more stuff. Uh, losing province income, few nature gems. We get attacked by a lumber construct and another lumber construct. Uh, one of my dudes got patrolled out. We got another white minotaur. Okay. I think really what may have happened here is that there was lots and lots of unrest last turn and we just managed to patrol it out now. Um... So we're going to send, I think our other white Minotaur is going to go, yeah, this is where we finally are going to go and get some, some blood sacrifice going and make another cheap temple over here, probably. <coughs> so that should help get our Dominion uh, pushing against some of the, the crappy Agarthan Dominion that's trying to seep in. Uh, over here, we can see we've hit you know a couple different provinces and then Satis hit down here as well. So we're going to try and just suck up as much of this land as we can. I don't know if we... Nope, okay. I thought that there were some more um, assassinations, but they are corruptions, but they may be coming uh, coming soon and not happen quite yet. Uh, this is Vanheim proper. Just so we're on the same page. But, okay. So yeah, we're going to go try and eat, uh, eat Vanheim. Just get those extra, extra couple provinces. Uh, Ubar is growing. Satis is now our size. Um, and about our income, Ubar just continues to be insanely high. Um, uh, yeah, at this point, I'm like, all right, we can just sit back. We're just going to watch Ubar win this game. He doesn't need us. We're just, we're just chilling. He can, uh, he can take this one. From here, we've won the war. My goals are to, or I guess there's two Zavalba provinces left. Um, my goals are to get our dominion spread, uh, keep researching, take these thrones if possible. The only consideration with taking these thrones is we wanna make sure that we don't get ourselves coalitioned. Now that may happen anyway, but sort of is what it is. We don't need to give extra reasons. Um, on the other hand, if we can take them fast enough, then people might not be hitting us because uh, they're still involved in this big, giant, epic war uh, that we are not a part of. Uh, we also need to get blood hunting operations going uh, to a much bigger degree. I'm definitely being slow here. Um, this turn, we probably... Again, I just was a little afraid of these Anaki, but I shouldn't have been. Uh, we could have gotten these people to start blood hunting probably this province. Uh, this one would be okay too. A lot, I mean, a lot of these ones are better, I suppose. But a lot of useful uh, provinces that we could go ahead and blood hunt. So 
that's something that we need to do uh, and get started. Let's see if we're casting anything else interesting. Higher specs, making some earth boots, dark knowledge, transform. Yeah, nothing really interesting to cast. Uh, from a research perspective, we're going to go finish Thaum 7. Um, <coughs> for charm. Um, that's going to help us try and steal, you know, really useful units. This is probably not the most impactful research we could have gone for. But it is what happened. Uh, it also gives us the ability to cast Dark Skies because we have an air 2. And then we could get boosters from teammates. But I think in retrospect, that's probably not the right call to go for Thaum 7 here. I think that we could have... Let's see. We could have tried to go up construct uh, conjuration faster, but I believe Ubar was going this way, and so he was picking up most of the elemental royalty already. Um, but we could go up here and get like Ivy Kings, but we already have so much nature, it's sort of whatever. Uh, we already have Alt Seven, Alt Eight um, would be nice, um, you know, ground army, but not not something that's super important to us. Uh, alt 9, obviously very good, but, but Alt 8 is just sort of a stepping stone there. Evocation, I think we're, we're fine, continuing to largely ignore. Eventually, we'll put, you know, it's basically free in terms of research. We'll put more points there. Construction, it makes sense for us to delay a little bit, I believe, because we have teammates who have taken it. So they can just go ahead and sort of do so, a lot of the foraging for us. Uh, enchantment, I think we definitely could have considered going up higher... Um, to get let's see this is yeah the teleporting one um this could have been really useful um file vapors is fine it's a little late in the game for file vapors but you never know sometimes people aren't prepared um relief going up to relief would be great so that i think and then blood uh we eventually want blood seven to get our vampires going but we're not quite there yet. Although it could have been worth doing it this turn. But in any event, um, from a war perspective, we've we've sort of finished uh, finished our opponents off, and we're gonna go sort of try and pick up this free land from Vanheim, and then from there we will have to figure out what we want to do next. There's a throne. There's a bunch of thrones that we can try and capture. Oh, I didn't uh, the throne that we just took is indeed the shattered throne so this is obviously an amazingly powerful throne uh for blood nations blood magic bonus 30 uh, in addition to four blood slays and two pearls now the problem is a that domain gets misfortune plus one um which going from you know three to two and from minus two to uh minus three are the most impactful luck sort of moves so taking us from luck three down to luck two sucks uh, the other bigger problem though is that this is you know once we claim this and it has to be claimed to be used everyone will know that we have the shattered throne and have this blood bonus 30 site and that's a huge target on our backs. So, you know, we're sort of waiting, I think, a little bit on claiming that until Ubar is ready to use it and until we sort of have figured out what we're going to, you know, once, once we have decided that we're ready and able to sort of face the world's coalition, uh, we'll, we'll make sure we have that as part of our plan and have it claimed, etc. But very, very powerful. Um, we're going to have to try and put that to good use. But I think besides that, that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much where we are. We've wrapped up our war and, uh, you know, in a little bit of a, a free eating phase over here. And then looking at how we can sort of close out the game on these thrones uh, and pushing our big other research, um, you know, Shatter Throne. We have the, uh, the enchant that crazy enchantment site over here somewhere. Uh, the fire prison and yeah, enchantment 20 
I don't remember if there's anything insane you can do with enchantment. Sort of midways down. Uh, it could certainly help cast Eternal Pyre, which it probably did. Uh, Riches is not really where we're trying to be. Don't think we're reanimating any of these things. Earthblood Deepwell, very castable. Very good. Out of that site. Stellar Focus as well. Gift of Health is a big one. The Tree Lords are okay. Um, but this, and then Gift of Nature's Bounty, of course, at, uh, at level nine. But I don't think that there's not like, um, like a really good, an Arcane Nexus. There's not like a really good, um, repeatable, like summon, you know, it's not vampires. And um, it's, it hasn't got the worm that walks or anything like that. Still very, very welcome. So yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, thanks everybody for joining me. I will see you all in the next one and have a great day.